Hello everybody, welcome back to the very first video, where today we're going to be remaking a Cold War missile silo inside Space Engineers. Uh, as you can see on screen, this is the one we're going to be making. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we've got Ice Lake here that we're going to be making it on. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's just make it like right here. So... So what blocks are we going to need so I can just go ahead and set up a hotbar for it? Yeah, I'm going to set up a hotbar as well. I think it looks mostly fine from the outside. It looks kind of weird over here. Yeah, it's kind of glitchy, but whatever. You can probably cover that up or something later. Yeah, I'll um, take care of that. Okay, so we go down here. Go over here, and this is where the silo will be. Alright, there we go, everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed no, that time. No, no. You good? I hope you enjoyed uh, that time lapse of us uh, making this silo part right here. Now we're gonna work on getting the uh, different catwalk levels, like I did right here. We're gonna do that all the way down to the bottom. Then we'll work on getting the rocket, and then we'll work on decoration. So we're gonna go and do that now.
I think I'm gonna work on getting the top, like the part that opens up. Alright. I think I'm gonna do it like a certain way. Going through the front. Oh yeah, me too. Hold on. So are we gonna launch the rocket? Let me make sure that closes. Okay. All right. So we're back after that probably really long sped up part, and uh, looks like we're finished here. Um, we may add some decoration later on before we upload it to the workshop. But I think we're finished with it for now. We have the rocket, we have the hatch, we have the inside and everything. It's a fun project, I really liked it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go over going of over a tour inside of it, so let's go ahead and do that now. So as you can see, we've got our front right here, we've got a wind turbine on top. Uh, probably remove that and put a reactor somewhere inside. So, but anyways, so you can go up here. You can got your door here. Come on inside. And you've got your pathway down here. Got another door. And once you're in here, this is the main room where everything is controlled. So this would be the control center in a real uh, ones where all the computers and all everything else would be stored for launching the rockets, uh, where everything would be stored for pretty much everything. Um, then as we go further down, the staircase into the second room. This is probably where the sleeping quarters would be, where they would... There might be some other computers down here, some control centers, but mostly this is where the... everything would happen. Probably where the kitchen would be, where everything else would be. Just stuff like that. Then we've got this hallway down here, which goes down into the actual silo itself. So as you can see, we've got our silo with our closed doors right here. And we've got our control panel here to open and the we've door. we've got the rocket. We've got the rocket, I'll show you in a second. We've got the rotors to open the hatch, and then we've got the rotor lock just to, you know, lock it when it's not being in use. Then, um, we don't, I just realized we don't have any ladders going down to the other floors, so we'll add those in a minute. And then we've got our rocket here as well. Um, the rocket is just a standard hydrogen rocket with one engine at the bottom. Any rocket, as long as it fits in here, could be launched. And, uh, yeah, that's basically the rocket right there. Okay, I believe that's the tour of it. I believe we are ready to actually launch the rocket here. Alright, I'll go down there and, uh, actually take care of the launching part. Okay, so I'm going to bring my camera outside where I will turn off my HUD and get a good aerial shot of the doors opening and it launching out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and head back outside. So, you know, heading down this hallway, going up. This is how you'd exit most of the time. Um, here's actually something interesting. So, most of the time you would not exit. Well, actually, you would exit through the main door. But if there were to be some sort of emergency, the uh, pathway was blocked off and you needed to get out of here fast. Um, almost every single silo that was constructed during the Cold War had a escape hatch. But this escape hatch was designed so that people couldn't get in, but you could get out. They did that by having a long tube that ran from the surface down to the control room. 
and that long tube was filled with sand. Yes, just kilograms of sand. And then there would be a trap door, which they would pull a lever, all the sand would flush out of the tube, and you could climb the ladder right outside of it. And that's actually how the escape system worked. They never actually had to use those because none of the silos ever failed. Nobody ever had to attack them or anything like that. And all the silos were equipped to resist nuclear blasts and had plenty of rations and food. So it worked just like a uh, nuclear bunker would. Anyways, that's enough for the educational part of this. Um, walking out of here, uh, just standard you wouldn't really see much on the surface here you see a bunch of lines here but that's all because of the game itself and how rendering works but this is the door right here um don't mind this giant crater that was yeah bad but uh so we have the doors here you can't really see inside of it you can't really get inside of it due to security measures and everything like that and uh, I believe we are ready to launch the actual rocket, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, maybe next time, if you want to submit anything for us to make like this, maybe we'll make a uh, nuclear power plant, we may remake one of those, something like that. Uh, or just, you know, some sort of old buildings or whatever, just stuff like that. Just give us some ideas and uh, we'll see if we can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this build. And now onto the rocket launch.